Hey you guys, how y'all doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my beautiful channel, Divine Yes, and I am Shay. I'm just here to do an energy check-in. You know what? I should do a what is happening. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to shuffle the cards up. We're going to see what, what we get. Okay. You get what you get. You don't throw a fit. I'm already seeing the eight of swords to the full. Listen. Listen, listen here, Linda. If you're new here, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when I upload. Other than that, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords. I'm seeing the Fool. Baby, what is happening here? You guys are afraid to take some type of risk. You guys are all in your head. And now it's just the time to just get out of your head and get into your heart. I thought I saw like a card over here or something, but maybe I might have been tripping okay get into your heart get it get out of your head and get into your heart okay <sighs> let's see spirit what messages do you have for the collective working in their highest good for their highest favor asking for messages full of unconditional love like healing truth and clarity okay because over here we're gonna get it all the way together protect our energy our aura our space and our frequency as we enter into the sacred divine space and hey okay you guys so let's see what do you guys need to know where should your focus be at this time before we get into this reading what is going on with the collective it says name all the things that you love you guys you guys you guys you guys you guys normalize loving on you in 2024 you should be at the top of your list okay are you one of them i give myself all the love and attention i need some of you guys are really needing to take these last few days and really sit with yourself and introspect about the year and how it has affected you and how you have grown and give gratitude and appreciation for how far you've come because i know you have been on a roller coaster okay give me one more card for the collective please and thank you and then we have, am I clear on what my soul really wants? Okay. Now, once you start focusing on yourself, you maybe take you a bath, do some yoga, go for a walk, hit the beach, spend some time outside, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. Once you do that, once you focus on yourself, once you look back at your year, once you reflect, then you can go ahead and redirect your focus and attention. And then you can be clear about what it is you really want, where you're going, how you're going to get there, or what so have you. And then you can also use your throat chakra to talk to your spirit team, your guides, your ancestors, your angels, the divine, your higher self, what so have you, God, the universe, and um, ask, what should I be doing? What direction should I be going in? We are in winter. This is not the time for action. This is the time for preparation. You understand me? Okay. Take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head. Hello. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires and said, didn't I, didn't I say get out of your head and get into your heart, honey, get out of your head and get it, get, get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desire instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all of your heart. Now, I feel as though for some of you guys, heart chakra activation is being set on fire right now just because of how the planets are aligning and stuff like that. Um, I do feel as though you're being gu guided to follow your heart, but I was going to say guard it. So some of you guys are trying to protect your heart or you're trying to keep yourself from making the same mistakes or doing or going down the same path. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When you try to keep yourself from making the same mistake or something like that, that is when you make the same mistake. Okay. Because you're not, you're not focused on just enjoying the moment. You're trying to control the outcome of a situation or trying to control how something unfolds or what so have you. Okay. But are you clear on what you really want? What is it that you really want and what's keeping you from going towards that in which you really want what is it that you really want and how have you talked yourself out of what you really want what is it that you really want and what boundaries do you need to set in place in order for you to get to where you want to go what is it that you really want and what toxic traits have you picked up along the way that has kept you from living in your true authentic self, okay? Because one thing we're gonna do over here is focus on ourselves, our healing and all that great stuff, okay? So am, am I clear on what my soul really wants? What does your soul truly wholeheartedly want? Ask yourself mentally, what does my soul truly wholeheartedly want? Spiritually, what does my soul truly wholeheartedly want? 
physically? What does my, what do I physically truly wholeheartedly want financially? What do I truly wholeheartedly want emotionally? What do I truly, I heard who do I truly wholeheartedly want? Okay. Cause some of you guys have a divine masculine, divine feminine in mind. Okay. What is it that my soul really wants when it comes to my spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, financial needs? What is it? And what is keeping me from going after it? And how do I heal? Can we can we normalize 2024? This is the situation. This is the reality of the situation. This is how it has affected me. And how do I heal from this? How can I move on? How can I unblock or unstuck myself? Okay, can we normalize this? Okay, period. Okay, what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? Not only my relationships with the people that I am connected to, but the relationships that I have within myself, my spirit team, ancestor guides, angels, the divine, the universe, what so have you, okay? Now let's hop right in to see what is going on with you guys. What is going on with the collective? What does the collective need to know? The energy that's coming towards them. What messages do you have for the collective? All that great stuff, okay? Let's talk about it. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Let me dig real quick. Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups, okay? Some of you guys are in this energy of contemplating. You're contemplating on what it is that you truly want. Um, how do you go about a situation? I also feel as though for some of you guys, you guys have been waiting on something or it's like, you, you, you're waiting on something before you can actually go after what it is you want or you can attract what it is you want. It's like with the seven of pentacles here, I feel like your focus isn't on what you want, but your focus could be on money or material possessions or something like that. When you're being guided and encouraged to uh, really lead from the heart space, okay? So understand that when you start operating from your heart space, everything else will naturally come to you. But because your heart chakra is blocked, the energy is not flowing properly, okay, is what I'm getting here. Now, I also see for some of you guys, the seven of pentacles is some of you guys still have work to do when it comes to life, the pursuit of happiness, okay? And I just feel as though some of you guys need to go ahead and clear house. And this could be freeing yourself mentally, physically, emotionally from certain things, situations, people, person, place, or thing, thought, feeling, or emotion, um, condition, pattern, behavior, or what so have you, okay? But I do see the seven of pentacles here is that you guys are asking yourself, okay, so should I invest my time or what should I be doing? How should I be doing it? But with the nine of cups here, you know what you want. You definitely know what you want. But you know what? I do feel as though for some of you guys, you could be a little bit stubborn here. You could be so stubborn to the point to the fact that you want what you want and it has to be exactly like this in order for it to happen. For some of you guys, this six of swords is coming out here with the six of pen, with the the six of swords is coming out of here with the eight of swords. Now, granted, this eight of swords just came out and said this is what your blockage is from having your new start and your new beginning. And even though you're moving away from one thing, but how you're moving away is what the blockage is, okay? So you could be moving away, moving out of something. Maybe you're breaking free or gaining back your freedom or gaining back control of a specific area of your life, but you're still feeling very stuck. You're you're still overthinking. You're still um you're still bound and tied to certain outcomes or certain like that, something like that. But what I'm seeing here to the six of swords to the eight of swords is that you really need to take the time to like uh pay attention to your thoughts and kind of set yourself free from living ideas thoughts behaviors and patterns what i do want to pull right here is an angel message just to get you guys clarity on what your ancestor guys angels and spirit team wants you to know based upon the energy that's here because this is someone who is moving from one thing but is not fully moving away from it because they're still in the same mindset or they're still setting themselves up based upon them being in their head too much okay they're overthinking about something and when you are in your six of swords energy this is you going to a more lighter energy but this is also you coming out of a period of phase a cycle to where you were stuck in it could have been for six years it could have been for six weeks it could have been for six months take it how it resonate but you were stuck in a cycle for a very long time and you were stuck because how you were mentally 
how you saw the situation mentally or how you thought something should have went or something really took a, a mental toll on you or something like that. Something really had had control over your, your mind or something like that. Something took control over you with this Eight of Swords here. And I just feel as though it's still kind of kind of has has a hold on you because you're not allowing yourself to freely move forward if this was the six of pentacles we would be having a different conversation we will be talking about how you're learning how to surrender if this was the six of cups we will be talking about how sometimes you uh, you go back to the past and you are still being a victim of your past okay but with the six of swords this is like you're wanting to move forward but you're still allowing certain beliefs patterns failures uh grief you're still allowing certain things to keep you hostage okay and you're not necessarily breaking free as you think okay but let's see what your ancestor guys and angels is talking about here that's oh 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 they said girl you ain't picked this up in a minute we got some messages for you baby okay but we don't need that many we just need maybe one I'll, I'll i'm cool with two but we just need one okay can we get the best advice here for this eight of swords the six of swords to this eight of swords please and thank you for the collective you know you guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up button okay don't forget to let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section because i love to hear from y'all okay period let's see this advice it says inner child okay it says inner child it says nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty you hold within we live in a world where a formula exists for everything yet love and creativity have no formula they do not need to be studied simply nurtured re re regularly set aside some time to just play now because a lot of a lot of which is keeping you stuck or keeping you tied or keeping you bound or a lot of uh, uh, that is holding you hostage mentally that isn't allowing you it's like when you want to do something you go back and you start thinking about how ways something isn't going to work or how ways something failed in the past or something like that or you go back to conditioned behavior and with this inner child come a card coming out this means that this is something that really hurt you at your core and this is something that you're needing to go in and identify and say hey Hey, you know what when i'm in this mode of being happy or when i feel like i'm start finally starting to be free i don't allow myself and this is what comes up when this happens okay give me one more because that was t give me give me one more because that was that was t give me one more opportunity the prayer card at the bottom it says wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you stop dwelling on past mistakes surrender the past lovingly there is nothing to regret always all is always in perfect and divine order everything that you've experienced has helped you in some way the past is behind you the path ahead is clear move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire now 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 what i'm seeing here is that there your inner child is asking you to be more free and to allow yourself to express and open up and to just because what you went through is no longer attached to where you're going okay so you're actually stepping into a new version of yourself and when you step into this new version of yourself you have the ability the capacity to recreate who you are to redefine who you are redefine what love is read you have so many different opportunities to redefine 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 okay you redefine every version of yourself okay when you are stepping into a new and with the opportunity you don't want certain opportunities to pass you by because you're blocked and you're afraid to allow yourself to be happy happy and free okay give me some more energy what's going on with the collective um what's going on with the collective the will of fortune is here now the will of fortune being here coming out means that there is going to be a cycle or there's going to be um old feelings emotions thoughts that come up 
for clearing, okay? Specifically for clearing. Some of you guys could be attracting old partners because we are in Mercury retrograde. So some of you guys could have been going through trials and tribulations to where um, you were put in situations to where you would have to think about the past or look at the past or you would go back. And this is only coming up because it's time for healing. It's coming up to cycle out, okay? With this Wheel of Fortune here. Give me, give me some more. What's going on with the collective? Now the page of swords, yes, it's it's come it's coming it's coming out to cut out. Okay, it's coming up to cut out because when you see the wheel of fortune here with the page of swords, this means that there is a karmic cycle that is about to come back around, and you're needing to be very clear and direct about what it is you want and how it is that you're going to move on from the situation. No door left open is the best for you because if you leave a door open, that means that when you are in a space of actually being free and happy guess what that whatever breeze is coming in it's gonna come in and it's gonna try to tear up whatever you got going on okay now why is the will of fortune here what's this will of fortune about so we have the star card here okay so something is written okay um now For some of you guys, this could be a reconciliation with someone, okay? For some of you guys, it definitely could be a reconciliation. Look at that. It definitely could be a reconciliation with someone with the temperance card being here at the bottom. And this could be someone that you thought was your soulmate. Or this could be past feelings, thoughts, emotions, or something like that. That can be coming back up. And you're like, damn, I thought I was over this person. Like, why is this energy coming back up? But again, it's coming back up for healing, okay? So if this is you. Cause we gonna give we gonna get we gonna get the advice for everybody. If this is you, what do your spirit team? What is it that you need to surrender to? If this is you, and old feelings, emotions, and all that is coming back up with this wheel of fortune, what is one thing that the, that the collective needs to surrender to? Okay. Um. And understand, like I was saying, because I don't even think I finished my statement. People are coming back because they feel your energy shifting. Okay. You understand me? So they're coming back because they feel your energy shifting. They feel you ascending and they're coming back to see if they can still have a hold on you um, or something like that. Okay. Now let's see. That's that surrender to effortlessness. Ooh, procrastination. Lord. Okay, also the will of fortune is bringing in wish fulfillment here as well. Because to see the star card with the page of cups, the will of fortune is bringing in wish fulfillment because you're finally starting to gain balance or you're finally start after you've went through a dark night of the soul or something like that here with the temperance card. The, the will of fortune is bringing in wish fulfillment. It's bringing in a new beginning. But this new beginning is going to make sure that you cut off the things that no longer serve you with this page of swords. I also feel like there is um, thoughts, ideas, or there there is something that is new here with this page of swords here okay there's something that is new here with this page of swords here and it's basically saying like on this new path on this new journey i need you to i need you not to be afraid to um break free from what was holding you back in the past from going towards what it is you truly want again am i clear on what my soul wants okay so what is it that the collective needs to surrender to here what is it that the collective needs to surrender to it says surrender your needs to always be right give others the gift of letting them be right be yielding not rigid this will help resolve conflicts and improve relationships now because the will of fortune is here that means that you see a situation and you're like oh i've been here before i know what to do or some of you guys try to control a situation surrender to obsessive thinking okay eight of swords surrender to obsessive thinking it says if you're obsessed about a person or a situation turn to deliver over the spirit doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem underneath that it says surrender to rest and sleep okay but um i feel as though with this surrender your need to always be right this means that okay my motto is you're not right and you're not wrong and they're not right. They're not wrong. The only thing that there is, is understanding. Okay. There is understanding. There is reality and your, your need to always be right means to step outside of yourself and try to look at something from another pers person's perspective, but also see how, see, to be able to see something from a higher perspective. Okay. It's not about 
having empathy for them and trying to understand where they're coming from. But it's about taking your side of the situation and saying, okay, this is how I feel, but challenging your thoughts. Like, is this the only way that I can feel? Okay, can I see something outside of this? Do I have to be right? Is there another way to perceive this information or to perceive this situation here with the surrender your need to always be right? And it's no need for you to go back and forth or to cause some type of friction between you and someone else because you already know where you're headed. And when this person comes back around, you don't have to um, overly express or overly give or overly like just be defensive and guarded when this person comes around. It's okay to stand in your power and say, you know what, I'm no longer going to allow this situation to hinder me, hurt me, um, or hold me back any longer. You've taken up enough space here and it's just time for me to remove myself and move on. So us rekindling and getting back together, I know this is a pattern, a cycle of behavior that we've created, but I'm done with it. Period, point blank. And that's that page of swords energy. Okay. Um, but when this person comes back around, they cause a little bit of anxiety because the surrender to obsessive thinking is here. They cause a little bit of anxiety. Um, but don't, don't just, just always go back and reground and find your center here. Now to the four of wands, to the queen of pentacles, to the lovers here, baby, period. Because this is basically saying that now you're sitting in your power. Now you're sitting in your truth with this queen of pentacles. Now you're loving and nurturing on yourself. Because in the past, what you would do is you were overly give. You would be a mother to certain individuals that didn't really need the mothering, but they would use you for what they can. And with this pick, and, and take this how it resonates, male or female. You know what you would do. You know how you would show up in these relationships. And you know how you will overly give and overly show up for people. And then you will be looking for that in return, but you never got it back. But you kept doing it because this is is just in your nature to be there for the people that you love to support and to give okay now um but with the lovers card here with the queen of pentacles the lovers card is challenging you to break free from old old systems set in place for you and this is again to redefine what it is to really love now the four of swords was behind the queen of pentacles this means that there was an old foundation an old lifestyle um that didn't really support you loving yourself OK, that didn't really support you loving yourself and that totally went against your path, your purpose. And now now with the lover's card here, you have a decision that you need to make. Do you stay or do you go? Do you go back to what you know, what you're comfortable with? Or do you actually allow yourself to step outside of your comfort zone here is what I'm picking up on. Now we have the sun card here at the bottom of the deck. Now the sun card here coming up is the the newness, the new awareness, the energy shifting in your favor. Um, and that's the will of fortune to the sun card is reminding you that everything, uh, didn't I just read it? Everything is always in divine order. So whether you repeat a cycle or not, understand that you're exactly where you need to be to get to the next phase, next step, the next cycle of your life. But definitely being encouraged, right? Definitely being encouraged to choose your freedom, to break free from limited ideas, thought patterns, beliefs, cycles, toxic relationships, burdens, or what so have you, and actually take charge and and, and bask and sit in the victory and success here with the Ace of Swords to the Empress. Whew. Hoo-wee. You're on fire. You're on fire. You're on you're commanding. You understand? You're commanding your respect at this point. So I think I'm gonna leave you guys there. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this reading, you guys, because it was a little bit of tea going on. I do want to pull a key oracle to see what the best advice is for the collective in general before I break up out of here. And, um, yeah, let's see. Best advice for the collective. What is the best advice for the collective to today, you guys? It says spiritual, no, spirit, spirit guidance. Okay co-creation it says your spirit guides and guardians are here to assist and help you to evolve into your authentic self 
The time is now to see yourself as a spirit as your spiritual team sees you. They ask that you remove all limiting thoughts and open yourself up to them. Meditation and asking for signs are a great way to deepen your connection. This is something that I talk to you guys about during the reading. At the bottom of the deck, we have false narrative. It says discernment. Be mindful of the stories you are telling yourself. Having a negative narrative, destructive and simple. Having a negative narrative is destructive and simply not true. Stop listening to your ego-based story that is laced with falsehoods and old conditioning. For every negative thing you say, counteract that by saying three positive words. See the truth of who you are, which is wise, magnificent, and radiant. And then we have denial and deception when I separate that, when I split the deck. There is a situation that you are refusing to see. Clearly living in denial can create false scenarios to see things that are not accurate. Have the courage and discernment to dig deep into the truth of the situation okay so peace and prosperity to each and every one of you guys until next time bye loves